Hey guys, and it's Isaac here. Welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. Little update thing going on right here. Since I've been away for quite a while, it would seem, as far as Minecraft goes, I mean, I've only been away for like a month or something, but jeez, has Minecraft changed a lot. I've flown my island back to my old undestroyed place just for a bit of nostalgia going on here. Um, I'm really not sure where to start. I should start somewhere. Obviously, I'm going to start somewhere, but uh, where to start, I don't know. I'm thinking of starting with sounds, because that's kind of like the, the most boring thing to be starting with. Uh, I have got a, a nice list, so if I'm tabbing out all the time, it's because I'm going over to my list and checking things. I've got to put it on top of everything else right now so I can actually see it. So, one of the first things that has changed, apparently, is there are now minecart sounds. And I don't see any better place to try this out than on my minecart thing. So we stick that in there, jump inside, and uh, let's have a go. Let's just leap out of my minecart instead of actually pressing the button. That's a good start, a good start. It's been a while. There we go. Oh, wow. That is cool. This proper sounds like a roller coaster. It's a bit beefy. It sounds like there's about 20 minecarts riding along here. That sounds pretty cool. Ooh. What if it'll ever actually shut up? I just hear it trundling away there. Right, so that was pretty cool. That's actually kind of good immersion right there. Um, I'm going to give myself some experience potions, because apparently there's a new level up sound. Have I got commands on this? Uh, game mode zero. Can I do that? There we go. Let's see if I can... So apparently that was the level up sound. Sorry if you couldn't really hear it very well because of like just the sound of everything else going on. Let me see if I can do it again. Ready? So apparently that little jingly sound is the sound of the uh, the new level up sound. Apparently there's new fall damage sound. So where can I take some decent fall damage from and not actually kill myself? Take some fall damage from up here and change my game mode. Okay, it's about the same. Maybe not as like trebly as it was before. Apparently there's a new cave sound and I'm pretty sure we'll hear that later. Not that it means an awful lot, but apparently the fire charge. Where's the fire charge? Where can I find a fire charge? Wow, look, all these items look really cool now. There's the fire charge. Apparently this makes the same sound as a flint and tinder now. That it does. <laughs> Not that that's too interesting, but it's a nice little thing to go. Apparently there's new footstep sounds as well. Which I can't really hear much on this grass. I suppose you wouldn't hear much on grass. Let me fly over to this cobblestone. So does it sound different on here? Slightly hollower sound. What about on a beach? Have I got a beach around here somewhere? Let me go over here. Apparently the mobs have been uh, tweaked as well, so the monsters will sound different as well. That sounds a bit mushy, actually. Mushy sand I'm walking across here. Don't know if it's supposed to sound like that, but that's what it sounds like to me. And apparently um, flowing water and stuff has got new sounds as well. Which I can't really hear very well. Is my sound just like way down or something? I don't know. Probably. Probably why I can't hear anything. Okay, so what else has got new sounds? The tools have got new sounds, so let's give ourselves a shovel and switch our game modes. Oh, good grief. With these sounds, this entire game is going to sound different. Look at the sound of the sound, sand being dug up there. That is interesting. So, what else? Um, apparently, lots of the uh, the other blocks and some of the block breaking sounds have been changed. I'm not sure. I guess if I get back into Minecraft, why is there a big square edge on the side of that? Never mind. Getting distracted. Uh, if I get back to playing Minecraft and stuff, I think these are the wrong colour because I'm on like the low graphics mode. If I get into, back into playing Minecraft, then we'll hear all the other sounds and stuff. So something else that is new. Um, let's go through some of the mobs now. First of all, if I can find a cave, I can show you one of the new mobs, which I think is quite nice. It's a passive mob, 
so that means it doesn't attack the player. There's a creeper. Hello, chum. We got any torches? Where are the torches going to be at? Decorations? There they are. Let's grab some torches, see if we can find some of these new mobs in here. Creepers have spawned, so maybe this, this new mob will have spawned somewhere. If not, it has got a spawn egg, so I will just spawn a bunch of them. Right. So we can't find them spawning naturally, but we will eventually. So what I'm going to do is just spawn some... Where is it? There we go. Spawn a bat. So we can spawn bats. These will hang upside down in caves, and you'll find them. They, they won't hurt you. They just flap around and uh, undoubtedly scare the crap out of you when you're walking through a cave you'll come around a corner and there'll be just a bunch of bats flapping around that'll freak me out to be honest from the pictures I saw when I was on holiday they didn't look as good as this I didn't think they'd look very good but they do actually look quite cool just flapping around there and they kind of hang upside down on blocks I doubt we'll see any doing that right now because they're all awake there we go, there's one sleeping, so if we approach it, it will pop down and start flapping around. Which is kind of cool. And we kind of half heard one of the new cave sounds there. It sounded like some sort of bass drum going off deep in the cave. Um, uh, What else have we got? We've got witches. I don't know if we can spawn witches. Um, apparently witches don't naturally spawn yet. Uh, we got a witch here. More than likely not. Oh, there we have. We have got a witch. Cool. Right, so this is a witch. It would be like an NPC. These don't spawn naturally yet. And this is what they look at look like close up. And this is what they look like when they're attacking you. They throw area of effect potions at you of weakness and stuff and they they heal themselves over time and they are generally just a really horrible nuisance. Can I use these? Can I shoot these or anything? No. So I'm in trouble if I don't switch my game mode back fairly soon. But there we go. And that's a witch. They do have some pretty cool drops if you actually ever manage to defeat them on normal mode. They heal themselves, they'll use potions on themselves, they've got a little wart on their nose. And this thing does appear to be almost invincible right now. <laughs> Taking a lot of damage. Maybe I should use my sword. There we go Dave, that might work. Uh, I know that they'll drop the potion they were carrying when they died. No, that obviously wasn't the potion that they were carrying. Where's my survival? There we go. Water bottle. Okay, and some glowstone dust. So that is not what uh, she was carrying when she died. I can uh, I can contend to that. Um, some horrible timed effects she put on us as well. Uh, is there any monsters around just naturally spawning around here? It doesn't look like it. Will be nice to see if we could see one of the new mobs just naturally spawns so I could go up to it and we can hear what kind of sounds it makes. What was this? This was going to be a tree walkway, wasn't it, that I never finished. Apologies whoever suggested that. But I never completed that. Creepers obviously won't make any sounds. There seems to be quite a fair number of creepers around. Here's a skeleton. Let's go see if the skeleton makes new sounds. Let's bump into it a bit. Sounds a bit different, but to be honest, I can't really hear it because of the rain right there. Um, what else have we got? Let me just have a quick look at my list, see what else we've got going on. Okay, so the next monster I want to show you, I'll have to show you in the nether. So I'm going to head down to my nether portal. And it looks like the lighting, they tried fixing the lighting on a lot of the blocks. But it looks like they still haven't quite got it cracked, looking at my um, little things over here. So, how fast was that coming into the nether right there? Okay, it's bugging out a little bit right here. And those sounds are just horrible. But, um, I don't know if I have a nether fortress. Do I have a nether fortress in here? I don't think I do. So, I might have to try and spawn a skeleton. Will that work if I spawn a skeleton in here? Where's the skeleton? There it is. So, what I'm trying to do... Whoa, flipping heck, look at the size of this guy. So skeletons, these guys will spawn in nether fortresses. They are with the skeletons. And they, oh my goodness, they look horrible. Okay, there's a regular skeleton, look. There's these huge with the skeletons. So these guys are tough, I don't know if they... I'm assuming they're extremely aggressive, but I don't particularly want to take one out right now. Let's just attack them. They sound awesome, though. 
when they're actually taking damage. Uh, there we go. So that was cool. Did they drop anything nice? I don't think they did. They didn't drop anything cool. But um, a rare drop from these guys is... if I can find it. Where are the heads? Looking for a head. Maybe they're in tools. Where are they? I'm pretty sure I saw them earlier on. Decorations, there they go. So these guys will drop these uh, Wither skeleton skulls. And um, it's the only place you can get these heads from. You can get these heads. Let me show you. There's a skeleton skull, a zombie head, a Steve head, and a creeper head. Now all of these heads can be worn, if desired. It basically puts it underneath like whatever you're wearing on top, so I can be zombie faced, I can be Steve faced or whatever I want. And uh with a faced of course. Oh no, you can't actually wear it with a skull. Can you not wear it with a skull? Do they not stack? They do stack. So why can't I wear one? No, I can't wear four at the same time, that's why. So there's these little head things that you can wear. They don't drop yet, you can only get those in creative mode. But these uh with the heads will drop from withers which we'll find in nether fortresses and if we do this with soul sand and I'm not really sure if I want to do this I haven't done this yet and it's gonna be very scary we put three heads on it we get the next boss which is this wither which is probably insanely difficult to defeat so um, I think I'm just gonna leap holy shamwow okay that's one of its attacks I'm guessing is to kind of explode like that there you go, it's it's doing stuff now, it's, it looks fairly fast, it's very angry, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave it alone, just to destroy the nether, as much as it wants. I'm just gonna leave that there. Um, I might fight the, the wither in the future. I have to go grinding for... wither skeletons. But there we go. Another thing I'd like to show you right here, is if we find... where's the zombie pigman? Spawn zombie pigman. Um, creatures and stuff can travel through the nether now. If we spawn a zombie pigman on the overworld, he's supposed to go running towards the nether portal to try and get home. He's blatantly not doing that. He's just pushing my minecarts around. He's not bothered. So if I maybe spawn one down here... You don't want to go home? Let me see if I can push him in. Get in. Whoop! Crap. And see, he's actually passed right through the nether. Um, I'm not sure, maybe if we lob some bread through the nether, we'll do the same thing. Just chuck that in there. Will that be on the other side? It is on the other side. That would be very weird. If that works on multiplayer, that's going to be very, very strange. So, there's a zombie pigmen wandering in and out of my house now. Which is fair enough. What else have we got? I think that's most of the mobs taken care of, but the wither, the boss, I'll be taking care of that in a proper video at some point. Can I change the weather using the, these commands? Do -do -do -do. Help 2. Help 3. Weather. Weather clear. Changing to clear weather. There we go. So, got rid of the horrible rain. My wolves are following me around. Oh, something I can show you right now. I'm going to end the video in a moment. But something I can show you right now with the wolves is... We can... We can dye their collar. See, if you look at this guy, has he got a collar on? We're supposed to be able to dye their collars, but I don't know how that works. I can't even see their collars at the moment. They doesn't even look like they're wearing any collars. That one's wearing a collar. Can we dye your collar? There we go. We've dyed his collar orange. These guys don't appear to be having had collars at all, so I don't know what's going on with these guys. But I don't know if you saw that. I dyed this guy's collar. It's orange. It's green. It's blue. So we can colour code them now, which is a bit strange. Oop, sit, sit. And uh, this is going to have to be a two-parter because time's running on a bit and I've got a lot of stuff to cover still. Mojang have been very busy coming up with new things to put in the game. And I'll be catching up with more stuff. Are those jungle leaves? Why are jungle leaves suddenly on these trees? Are they jungle leaves? They are jungle leaves, aren't they? How unusual. Is this a jungle biome now or something? So yeah, I'll be seeing you shortly in the next video. I'll probably be uploading them on the same day, so you won't have to wait long. Just the, the amount of time it takes me to edit a video. 
So, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the second part of this video.